Hey everybody, how's it going? So my name is P0 or uh, P017 on YouTube here. I make content about these awesome CRT TVs like just the one in front of you. Uh, and this one in particular, I wanted to make a video on this JVC iArt uh, TV for you because this one is a little bit special to me. I've had this for not very long, but I've done a lot of work to it. And I wanted to get into it and show you exactly what uh, work I did as well as show you the picture on this. So. This TV, like I said, it's a really cool, uh, the JVC iArt series, which uh, shows here on the top left, they are a series of flat CRTs equivalent to the D series, which many people know of. Uh, the D series are curved. These ones are flat in particular, but they have basically the same interface uh, as you can see here. Nice flat panel. Also, the styling for this is pretty interesting, and I wanted to get into it a little bit because this looks kind of like a Sony clone <laughs> with the styling. Uh, the KV32FE300 I know looks identical to this one, but I'm not sure which uh, CRT coined this early to mid-2000s sleek and silvery look to it, you could say. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and get right into this JVC. I'll get into some of the specs and then show you what I did to it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up 240p test suite and we'll get right into it. Alright, so starting off here, obviously you have your video inputs. Uh, so, this this is kind of nostalgic for me in a way because like I, said, I had a D-series when I was a kid. And this interface here looked exactly the same. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn on 240p test suite to show you how it looks like. And... This picture looks absolutely incredible. It's also very straight, and that's courtesy of me because I put a crap load of time working on this CRT. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you some of the features. So as you can see, it is a flat CRT. Not everybody likes that it's flat. Personally, I don't mind it. I can go either way. But typically flat CRTs, whenever you have them set properly in terms of their calibration and everything, they look amazing. Uh, but down here, there is a hidden little panel. Drops down, shows you your input number three, which is composite, as well as your menu, your channel buttons, and volume buttons. And there's your little power button right there. Uh, it's pretty neat, but let me, let's get into the meat and potatoes of video inputs back here. So as you can see, back here, I have S-Video hooked into input one. There's another composite port as well as component video. And of course you have RF back there too. Uh, also back here, since I'm here, let me show you the model. So the model of this JVC is an AV32F485. Uh, there is another version of this called the AV32F475, which I think the only difference is this one has picture in picture, but I really don't care about it. Uh, otherwise they're basically the same TV, but yeah. So you get composite as video component, all the really good inputs. And right now what I'm doing is I'm running a 240p test suite through S-Video on my JVC here. So it looks super clean. Let me get up and show you what I'm talking about. So this tube in particular that's in this, for some reason I've been learning more about JVCs and finding out that a lot of these JVCs had different tubes in them. Uh, and by guess, not really so much guess, but educated guess of another person that I talked with about this CRT, this one likely has a Toshiba tube, and this one has an extremely fine pitch. Uh, so you can see, for anybody who really likes scan lines, there's you're probably going to be disappointed on this TV. There's not very much, but what you get in return is an extremely sharp image. And I tend to quote myself saying, this looks almost 480p. <laughs> Even at 240p, uh, all the edges are really sharp, and that's something you don't really get with consumer sets. You often get them with these video monitors here, uh, something that is extremely sharp and extremely detailed, and for some reason you get some really thick scan, line, uh, scan lines as well, or thick scan line gaps, uh, if you want to be proper about it. This one's a little different. Um, there are some JVCs with Samsung tubes, from what I know, that have a bit bigger scanline gap in between. But from what I notice, the image is not as sharp uh, or as super clean. Like, if we get in really close again, I'll show you. So you can see 
these edges here are very, how should I say, edgy. <laughs> uh, they're sharp on each border or each corner. And usually you don't get that. With CRTs, you usually get a very nice blend uh, coming across here. And typically what that means is the image is much softer, uh, but it, overall it makes uh, images blend very nicely together, or the video blend nicely together, especially with paired up with really insanely good motion clarity of these CRTs. But anyways, let me show you something else. So here I'll show you the grid pattern to show you how this TV looks. So as you can see, grid-wise, it looks really good. Uh, I've had a ton of issues with fixing the geometry and the convergence on this. Uh, this top left corner, for example, was completely bowed outward. This bottom right corner uh, was also kind of pulling downward a bit. So the bottom edge didn't line up very well. This top right corner was kind of bowed inward due to the fact that this was bowed outward. And then there was a bit of left side bowing here as well. So I did I did everything that I could to fix that. Uh, and what mainly I had to do was I had to go into the back. I not only had to adjust the convergence rings, but I also had to adjust the purity rings as well because that helped with the bowing. Uh, and on top of that too, there were some magnets that were glued onto the back of the tube that I had to change around. Uh, they weren't convergent strips, but they were just little magnets that do help, in a sense, be convergent strips, where they do pull the corners a little bit, uh, in a sense. But anyways, I had to redo them all. Uh, I finally got them just set right, and it took me about five or six tries to do so. <laughs> uh, it also took a lot of glue, because every single time I had it set in place, I glued it down, then didn't like it, and then took it apart, and then re-glued it back, and it was just a mess. So overall, I did convergence, geometry, uh, purity, a bit of magnet adjustment, as well as focus. I also did a little focus adjustment just to make sure that everything was all good with this CRT. Oh, and also I did a yoke adjustment too. So on the backs of the CRTs, there is this thing called a yoke, which directs every single, uh, how should I say, electron to where it needs to go on the screen. And that one I completely pulled off and reseated because the whole screen was slightly tilted to the right. And I also wanted to try and see if it fixed the bowing a little bit, but while it didn't, at least I found out why and how to fix it. Uh, so now the screen looks amazing. And if we go to monoscope here, you can also see how the edges look. So they look really straight. And then if we go to convergence here, you can see as well. So convergence here. It is wonderful. So, like I said, it took me quite a while to uh, get all this done. I've probably taken the back off this thing maybe 10 or 11 times, uh, just fiddling around with it, and I finally got it right yesterday. <laughs> so I wanted to make this video showing off this uh, CRT and showing off how good it is. So to show off how good it is, let me go ahead and turn on another game for you. All right, so as you can see here, uh, this is Kirby Superstar Deluxe, or Kirby Superstar Ultra, as some of you might know. Uh, this is a really, really fun game comprised of a bunch of different Kirby games you can play. Uh, and as you can see on the screen, it looks awesome. So like I said, there's not really any more geometry or convergence issues that I need to really worry about. And I just corrected everything that I could, and I put so much time into it. I'm so glad that it works great. <laughs> you don't even understand how much effort I, it took to do all this. But anyways, I also wanted to show here a couple other things too. For example, the remote here. So this remote is a JVC RMC1258G. Here, let me try to get that in focus. There we go. Uh, this is the same remote that I had as a kid whenever I had my D-Series, which was really awesome. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you need it to change the input on this TV in particular, but all I know is that with this remote, I was able to get into the service menu. So with the service menu here, if you hit sleep timer and then you hit display and video status at the same time, 
uh, and I'll show you here. So sleep timer set to zero minutes, then display and video status. It'll bring up your service menu. And the two you want to focus on is V slash C and then def or deflection. Uh, so that will give you all of your adjustments that you need for the most part. Can't really adjust vertical height all that well, especially going down, but you can adjust it up, but you can adjust horizontally. You can also adjust your corner uh, bowing or I guess you can say your pin cushion in a sense, uh, parabola, your trapezium, and you can also adjust the bottom corners by themselves or the top corners by themselves. Uh, for this here, you can adjust the brightness, color, uh, the contrast. I'm not sure exactly. Well, you can't actually adjust it here, but it gives you those options. But it shows you the sharpness or detail. Uh, as well as a couple other small things. But here it shows you your red, green, and blue cutoff. I know you can't really see it too well, but uh, you can also adjust your drives here too. So you can do all that on the CRT, and I did all of that. Now this thing looks incredible. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I don't really have too much more to talk about on this TV. I'll just let it continuously play uh, for your enjoyment. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, also, I would recommend this TV if you really, really, really like a sharper and cleaner image. But I will say, with these JVCs, especially these iArts, you might not get very lucky in terms of its uh, geometry and convergence. So, I, like I said, I didn't really get all that lucky with it, uh, and I had to do a lot of work to it. So, just keep in mind, if you're searching for a big uh, CRT, this one being a 32-inch, just keep some of that stuff in mind. Uh, whenever you're looking for it. This thing is fantastic otherwise. Uh, and if you have either a friend or your, yourself are experienced at making adjustments, I would highly, highly recommend this TV. This thing is excellent, and in 480i, it looks pristine as well. It looks almost 480p. You can't see the interlacing on it. And yeah, like I said, I, I, the only thing I wouldn't recommend is if you really, really, really like uh, thick scan line gaps, this one isn't for you. But you also might get lucky, and you might get the Samsung tube, and the Samsung tube has thicker scanline gaps than this. So, just keep in mind all these things, and yeah. Oh, also one other thing too, it is 140 pounds. <laughs> so bring a friend if you're going to pick one up. Uh, but yeah, so, highly recommend this. I don't really see any videos or very much about this TV, so that's why I also wanted to make this video on it. Uh, was just to get the word out there that these are pretty good and that you should consider these as an option for your old gaming setup. So, yeah. Uh, thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next video.